Transnational. Vice's series Transnational takes us on a journey. We visit the ballroom scene in Detroit, a safe haven in Mexico City, and a place of worship in Indonesia. And we track the fight over trans healthcare in the UK. At every stop, the series finds a way to honor collectivity and individuality. The many inside of the few. This series paints a global portrait, a mosaic of trans communities all over the world. And front and center is a team of trans journalists, including on-camera talent like Freddie McConnell, Eliza Enriquez, Eva Rain, and Rana Thamrin. In every episode, you can feel the compassion they bring to their reporting. Through them and their stories, Transnational celebrates the joy that can exist within resistance and treats global trans issues with dignity and with respect and with the rigor they deserve. That's why it's my honor to announce Transnational as a Peabody Award winner. I'm here in the northern part of Mexico City in La Casilda neighborhood. I'm at Casa Hogar de Palo Buen Rostro, a shelter opened in 2020. Human rights groups say Mexico is second only to Brazil as the most deadly place in the world to be trans right now. Trans people have few options to make a living and trans women specifically are often forced to survive on sex work and live out of hotels. When the pandemic hit, many of those women were left homeless. This place became a sanctuary. Caso Hogar Palo Buen Rosso is the first shelter of its kind in Mexico. Not only is it a rare instance of the government giving financial support to the trans community, but it's run for and by former sex workers. I want to say thank you to the Peabody Awards for honoring Transnational. I'm sitting here fresh out of top surgery and it feels incredibly surreal to be recording this acceptance speech at a time when trans healthcare is under attack in this country. Part of why we made the show is because we realized that there had never been a global survey of trans lives, even though trans people exist in every corner of the world. Getting the opportunity to make the show meant that we could unlearn some of the things that we'd been taught about storytelling and prioritize honesty, integrity, take our time, and ultimately get intimate with our sources putting more trans people in front of and behind the camera. That's why it feels so fulfilling for the jury to recognize this project. I think it says that this kind of storytelling is a step in the right direction. I want to say thank you to everyone who worked on the show. It was a huge labor of love across many continents. And ultimately, thank you to the sources who, without you, we wouldn't have a show. I think it feels incredibly sad right now to accept this award because Across the globe, trans people are under attack. That's because of the lies and misinformation that politicians and bigots are spreading about us, which ultimately means that this kind of storytelling is more important than ever. It's crucial. It means going beyond death and highlighting our beauty and our power. And it means putting us at the forefront of telling our own stories. Thank you so much, and it is such an honor.